What's up guys, I'm here with Kaeo Liko Burley, all right, my man fighting out of Hilo, Hawaii. Uh, he, right now you're out in Oregon, I heard. Yes. Yeah, How, how'd you end up out there? Uh, for my fight um, back in September, I was fighting at the SCFF and my friend trains over here at American Top Team from college. So I asked him if we could come by, stay sharp for the week. And that's how I met everybody over here. And they said that I should come over for a fight camp whenever I can, whenever my next fight was. So that's what we did. Nice. So how long have you been up there? Well, this is my fourth week right now. Nice. How is it? Oh, it's good. Yeah? <laughs> the most, most training I've ever got over so far in all my fights. Nice, and wh what's, what's a normal day like for you up there? Um, get up in the morning, I do my 45 minute runs, then I, then I wait for my next class. I have class after class where I have to pack. Nice. So only have like maybe two hours of rest time and then I go to my next class. So it's just been a steady, all day, it's like, I, that's pretty much my job right now. That's it, that's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, the, you're from Hilo, and you flew yes. out to Oregon, correct? And then, so who were you training with back in Hilo? Uh, I was training back at uh, the Brave Fitness Gym with uh, Dharma Shea, uh, that's the main coach. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And and so the the move up to American Top Team, that's a that's a world-renowned fight club. That's that's awesome, bro. I'm, I'm happy for you. That's good. Yeah. Good stuff, bro. If you're gonna if you're gonna chase a dream, bro, you gotta be serious about it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and so what, you're 26 years old now. You're you're yes. you're three and two in, in amateur MMA, and now it's your first title fight. Like it's a main event title fight. No, no it's not. My second my second title fight at a main event. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Uh, my my last fight that I had over here, which is the most recent one, was for a title. Uh, that one, I pretty much lost to myself. I was winning the whole time, and then I got caught in the submission. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah so what, was, what was the submission? Uh, anaconda choke. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Hey, shit happens. Hey, all these mistakes, all these mistakes, make them now at your amateur level. You know what I mean? That way, when you turn pro, yeah. It's it a, helped it's me with my next fight, so. Hell yeah. Hey, so, so, that being said, three and two, you got good experience. You're fighting a guy that you've already fought before in the past with Justin, right, Sagaro. And um, Justin's a tall, rangy, strong fighter. And, and he had nothing but good things to say about you. Talked about your tough as nails. And your guy's last fight was, was a battle. And, um, and, and he's looking forward to fighting again, which is awesome. But the, um, the change in your game and what you've done, what I've heard so far is that you, you've upped your level dramatically by by moving there and being there for four weeks now and, and, yeah. and, and a good fight camp that makes a world of difference when it's time to come down and get down. Oh, yeah. you know? So how does your mental state right now, knowing that you got the right amount of work in? Oh, it's, I'm like super comfortable. Like I'm just real confident. Uh, I was already confident in my last camp that I had, even though it was uh, kind of like back and forth. I was doing whatever I could to you know be in shape and get the work that I could. But over here, it's like you have everybody from boxing coaches, Muay Thai coaches, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, you have everything here. So it just really helps me so much with everything. And what, the sparring partners and stuff are all there too? They're all me. I spar with like Bellator, PFL fighters, and uh, UFC fighters. That's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah. It really helps me a lot. Hell yeah. I have with big boys too. No, oh, that's good. Hell yeah, I get that strength in there, y'all. Yeah. All right, hey, hey, so the, so you, I heard you took off work to go stay there for the month, y'all. Yeah? yeah, so uh, I had to talk to my boss first because uh, I already asked to take a whole week off for my last fight, but this was longer, so I told him, I just asked him if I could take off four weeks to do this fight camp, and it might be for a while until I do this again, but... Yeah, I told them four weeks, and then they talked to the big bosses and everything. They said, yeah, I can. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and well, So where do you work at back in Hilo? Uh, I work at the Hilo courthouse as a security guard. Nice. Hell yeah. And, and so, so making that move, so you're taking it serious. You're going out there. You're getting great training. You're kind of come home. You're a main event on the X1 Battlegrounds 4, and you're the main event. The, it's going to be a long night. There's 10 fights, yeah. you're the 10th fight, and um, what goes into the preparation of knowing that you're gonna have to sit back there for a while and wait for your turn? 
What is the preparation? Yeah, what, what is the mental mindset? What are you, what are you guys going to be ready for as far as waiting that long? Because you know how it is. When you're a main event and there's a lot of fights prior to it, it's a long waiting game. It's a, it's a yeah. mental game. A lot of guys lose composure because anxiety gets to them and stuff like that. How do you feel your mental mindset is going to be waiting to be that long of a night? Oh, my mental, I'm just, I'm going to be fine. I, I just, if I can be comfortable, relaxed, I'm fine. Like, that's what I did with the last fight. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was fine. Oh, yeah. Screws, do some mitts and stuff. Like when we start getting ready to go out. So I'm, I'm 100% fine. Nice. I'm good. Yeah, I'd like to get it over with already. But <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm fine. Plus huh. they, it might go by fast too with how many people we hit with the... Uh, competitors we have on the card. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, you never know, right? It could be a long night, could be a short night for all we know. Yeah. But uh, so, the, that being said, main event, X1 Battlegrounds 4, all right, November 22nd. Is there anybody you want to shout out? What is that again? Is there anybody you want to shout out and thank coming up for this fight? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to shout out Fernando Alvarado. Uh, he's, he trains over here at American Top Team. He's He's kind of been taking me in, you know, helping me with rides um, everywhere. Uh, there's Fabiano Scherner. There's Dylan Fussell. Um, everyone, oh, there's, and then back at home, I have my dad, uh, Kavika Burley. I'd like to thank him. He does everything for me. He's been, he's actually one of the main people that have been really helped me to get up here. Nice. So he's been doing a lot of things behind the, the scenes. Um, and I would say Dharma Shea. And Larry Chong, there's John F John Farrell, I forget how you say his last name, and then Federico Vento, back at home, they're all back at home. Yeah, so I, there's a couple other people I gotta say, but I forgot some of their names. So there's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But hey, good luck. Freaking get home safe. Have a great fight. We'll be there, cage side, cheering you on, bro. You got any, okay. and, and we are excited. We are excited about this fight. This is a great main event. This is something that we, we're looking forward to watching, Brown. We hope that everything goes good for you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'll, right there, I got three names. Uh, I want to say thank you to Chris, Hamza, and uh, Jordan. Those are some of the three other main guys that's been helping me. Nice. Out there in, in, in yeah, Oregon? Yeah. Oregon top team, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, I love it. I love that you made the decision to make the move to go get a real, a, a deep fight campaign. That's great. That shows that you, you're, you're taking it serious, bro. I love that about young oh, fighters, bro. Especially with, with Justin, you know, he's, he's really, he got way better too compared to the first time we fought, you know. I yeah. mean, we both did. Okay, so, yeah, no, exactly. We yeah, can't wait, bro. Yeah, a good team too. So yeah. it's like, I'm not, I don't really take it lightly. So I'm just like, oh. I gotta do something. I love it. I love it, bro. Good luck. Good luck with everything, bro. Be safe out there, huh? Oh, thank you. Thank Aloha. you. Aloha. Aloha.